Hey guys, just XJ Idiot XX, and today what I have here, I have a Japanese Type 30 bail net from World War II. I got this Japanese Type 30 bail net from the same military antique store that isn't far away from my house. If you guys want to know what's the name of the store, I'll put the store name into the link in the description below. You guys can check out that store. And let me show you guys, um, my Japanese Type 30 bayonet. So this is what my Japanese Type 30 bayonet. The whole thing is very rusty, and I also um don't plan to remove all the rust to restore it because the reason why I don't want to do that is because that I don't want to ruin the value on this Japanese Type 30 bayonet. So let me show you guys um blade first so this is what the blade looks like the blade is very rusty and when I took the case off for the first time I wanted to see if I can actually cut a little piece of paper in half and it turns out that I can't cut it because the blade isn't sharpened enough but the only thing that's sharp is this part right here which is the top I try to cut a little piece of paper on there and that only worked, but only this part right here where you're supposed to cut is not sharp. And on the bottom of the blade on my Japanese Type 30 bayonet, there's actually, there's actually a stamp on the blade. I'll show you guys where the stamp is at. So the stamp is um right here. When I first saw the stamp, I really wanted to know who actually created the stamp. So I actually looked up online to see who created the stamp and it turned out that Toyota actually created the stamp. When I heard that Toyota created the stamp, I immediately freak out and I also look up to see if anybody is actually um, selling this kind of bayonet that I have, but it turns out that nobody isn't selling this kind of bayonet that I have. And another thing that I wanted, that I also want to show you guys on my Japanese Type 30 bayonet is that there also is a model number written on the bottom of the blade. So the model number can be found, can be found here. And I'll read the number to you guys out loud. The number said one one two three so that's the model number and if you guys are also um if you guys are also planning to buy a Japanese bayonet that is this is the video that I'm making before you buy them and plus if you guys also have a Japanese bayonet lying around in your house, I will actually put the stamp meaning into the link in the description below as well so you guys can check that out. And plus I'll also um I'll also put a picture um of the stamp that is on my uh Japanese Type 30 bayonet. You guys can check out that photo. That photo will be uploaded onto my Google Drive and I'll make it public so you guys can see it. And yeah. That is pretty much it. And before I wrap up this video, I want to show you another thing. So this is what the case looks like. The inside is very dark, but there's also, um, no model number on it and yeah anyway if you like this video please do like and subscribe and i hope you enjoy and stay tuned for my next world war collection videos